guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna to be the review of this Amp Research Bed Extender Max HD. Um, no, they did not send this to me for free. I'm doing this installation and review solely on my own. I did my research on these and this looked like the best one. So some of the things I like about it are this part right here, made in the USA. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box. This is how it arrives. It doesn't come in a special shipping box. And today we are working on my uh, TRD Tundra. Uh, it's a Crew Max model, but if you have a regular Tundra, it's the same size bed, just beds a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box and show you what's in here. Okay, on first look, um, looks to be packaged pretty well. The one thing I do wanna note right off the bat is, looks like they proudly display the uh, main USA badge which is pretty cool. So, this truck's made in the USA, so might as well keep everything made in the USA on it, right, as much as possible. So I just wanted to kind of show you how it's set up here in the box. You got your uh, center bars here, and then your main packing here. It's packed in here pretty well, so I'm gonna get it out of here and show you. All right, here's everything that comes out of the box. I just got it kind of laid up here. Got your left side, your right side, three cross struts, and the instructions, and you're gonna get a bag of uh, hardware here. So I'm going to go through and see what's involved with getting this bad boy installed on the Tundra and then you guys can uh, see how I did it. But this is basically going to be what comes out of the box here. So it's got a pretty good finish on it just on um, initial looks. It's got this like a uh, powder coated baked on like very very fine uh, bed liner material type finish. Very lightweight on the panels, which is good, so it's not gonna add a ton of weight to your truck, but still feels very solid. So let me go ahead and uh, get the lay of the land here, and then I'll show you how to put this thing on. All right, first steps here are gonna be putting the uh, mounts on the side of the truck, and that's what these things look like here. Oh, sorry, not that. I already got one on that side. So they give you these templates here to lay up, and you're basically gonna run them like that. I'm going to go ahead and get them cut out. Dash lines are for with bed liners. Solid lines are for no bed liner. This is just the coated bed liner bed. So I'm going to go with the solids. So I'm going to show you how to lay this template up. All right, the best way for me to show you this here is it taped onto the truck already. So you're going to cut that sheet out. I'm going to add another piece of tape here. The bottom of the template where it says truck bed, that rests on the truck bed. You want to note that the your dotted line is going to be and I'm on the edge of the bed there like that. I'm centering mine up here on the mount. I don't want it to be too far this way because I'll show you in a minute when I lay this up here, if I go too far, then the foot of the support, which is gonna be this guy here, is gonna be off the tailgate. So, give me an idea how this thing mounts. Here's one of the mounts already kind of set on here. And if I rotate it off, you can see this how it kind of sits like that. So this is basically a mirror image of this template here. So this is gonna, gonna lay up like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these drills popped here, or these uh, screws popped into the bed here, show you how this kind of lays down. Right, I wanna note something real fast. Uh, you guys follow my channel a lot, you know I do a lot of working on cars and stuff. They send you these uh, screws, which to me look like they're gonna rust after about a year. I also don't like the fact that they don't sell you, send you self-tappers, so I'm going to give you a little advice. Before you buy this thing, or while you're buying it on Amazon, pick yourself up some of these self-tappers. These are going to prevent you from having to drill a hole so you don't need a bit, and these are not going to rust because they're galvanized. So I've, run, I've been running these things on the Jeep for about two years now. They've been seeing weather, no rust whatsoever. So run with these, and I'm going to continue the installation with a self-tapper. Self-tapping screw just basically has a little pre-drill on the end of it so you don't have to drill through. So I'll also note in the description what size these are. So I want to note that first. All right, first thing you want to do before you start going at this thing with a drill or with a uh, self-tapper is get yourself a punch like this and you want to just go ahead and just give it a good bump on each one so you're not trying to drill, have the drill walk around on you. like that. And go ahead and load up your trusty old Makita. You'll see
see where you gotta do your marking there, or do your drilling there. This bed's kind of long, so to get a good angle on it's a little tough. I'll stop there, back it out. All I did was put the head of the screw in. That guy right there, it's not gonna focus. Now I will run it in all the way with the gun. I'm just gonna go loose. She's gonna sit in there just like that. Okay, if you did it right, that's what your bracket's gonna look like. Something like that. If I can get this to focus, this camera's finicky. Uh, so, what you're gonna do, if we look at taking the uh, piece here, this is gonna just rock and roll right in that mount there, and then it's gonna roll down. So, you get an idea of how that's gonna swing up and down just like that. So, I'm gonna do the other side, get that set up and then I'll show you how to join all this good stuff together. If you did your mounts right, this is what you should look like. Right now, at this stage, these are just loosely sitting on here. So, what we're going to do now is set this up to where you can start putting in your crossbars. So, what I did was just unsnap the rubber bands on here. I'm going to slip these in, kind of align them up centered. So, you have the powder coating on both sides that are visible. And then you're going to snug up the uh, bolts that go in here to give it a nice tight fit. <clears throat> I got the three crossbars in here. I took this side off, and now basically what I'm going to do is slip this in onto these cross bars here, and then create the width I'm looking for. So let me do that real quick. This panel here, or this side here, basically these are just slipped into here like this. So I got mine all the way in on one side, and I'm going to go ahead and just align all these without smacking the tail light. One, there's a little give to these, which is nice. Or else I can feel this can become a pain in the neck. So now I'm just gonna center them up. Make sure my coating is on both sides. Just like that. Just some sliding them back and forth like this. Now you can see the seam here where the crossbars mount into the main body. I'm gonna take the these are the feet that sit here. You got two sides, one with no bolts on the front of it, one with bolt holes on the front of it, with the bolt holes facing the inside of the bed. And these are gonna center up so the seam is in the middle of the of the cross brace here. Alright, you got everything aligned, right? That's what it should look like all the way around. If you use your template, everything should be level all the way around the truck. Just like this. And the last and final step is they give you 
these screws, and you're going to use the longer ones of the short ones that you see, because we didn't use the ones with the with the uh, pointed ends on them, the short ones, we used the self-tapping. They give you those, but I want to note something. They use a, and if you don't have one of these, they use a Torx bit right there. So the end, the heads look like this. So that's your, you can get a good idea there. That's your Torx head. These are a, let's see, this is a Craftsman T20. So you're gonna use a T20 Torx and to install them, to finish up the installation, you see these bolt holes here, or these uh, pilot holes, you're gonna go ahead and thread them in. This is plastic, it's gonna take you a minute because they're, they're kind of tight, so give it a good squeeze on the actual panel and then tighten them up. So run your screws in there and you should have a nice complete installation. Okay, there you have it. Fully installed, level, looking good. That side, and a couple of things I want to note: the Tundra comes with these little bed helpers on each side, and this does just clear it. If you notice, as I flip up, you'll hear a little light scrape and then drop it down so that's what it looks like inside got great clearance it sits nice and level it's the whole idea give it a good level fit it is on the inside so to fold it up we just grab a hold of it folds right back down up and down just like that really cool just like that so appreciate you guys appreciate you guys watching remember to thumbs up like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll get you back on the next video remember um, this this thing is made in the USA so if you guys are looking for made in the USA stuff I definitely recommend this one and it feels very strong and I think it's going to provide some good use. I, I, <clears throat> I'm going to put it to the test here hopefully in the next week or two with hauling some pretty heavy duty lumber so we'll see how it does. So alright guys, thanks for watching.